Hey guys, what's up? I'm here and I'm going to show you guys how to run the your 1.8 bucket server. It's finally updated so you stop getting that error that tells you outdated server and all that crap. Nobody likes that. So yeah, we start out by going to the link that I've provided you in the description. It'll take you to this right here. Just go ahead and download this. This pretty much contains everything you need to run your server, but it is all configured to a one point or the it's all configured to a sixty four bit computer. Uh, if you if you don't know how how to tell what it is, just go to computer, click on properties, and it tells you right there sixty four bit. Yours might say thirty two. Either or, this is just configured to a sixty four, but I will show you how to change it into a thirty two bit later in the video. So yeah, now that you have this file, go ahead and open it up. If you have a 64-bit, you don't have to change anything. If you have a 32-bit, go ahead and open up that readme file. And right here are some simple instructions how to create that start.bat if you don't know. If you still need further instructions, I'll just show you guys right now. So go ahead and create a doc text document. Just call it start.bat just like that open that up then right here if you have a 32 bit just copy this code copy and just go ahead and paste it on in there file save as make sure this right here where it says save as type change to all files that's gonna make sure it saves as a dot bat now I already have one so I don't need to do it but that's all you need to do so yeah let's go ahead and cancel that exit don't save just go ahead and get rid of that one so yeah after that just says that to check out my channel leave me uh, questions if you have any check out the plugins list all that jazz then while you're in here just go ahead and run that start bat it'll bring up all this telling you if you look up at the top right here ah, it says at the top starting minecraft server version beta 1.8.1 that's how you know it's the right one. Now it's just kind of preparing the world, making the world. Here's the seed if you ever need to know it, which is a lot. Anyway, there it is. You are done. Now all it does, go ahead and stop that for a minute. Saving chunks. Okay, so now that you have that, you have all the things like the whitelist, the ops. If you want to add ops, just go ahead and type in your IGN right here. Oof, I can't spell. Just like that. Or whatever yours is and save. Then here's the plugins, which I guess I can show you guys how to do that in this video too. Here's your world. If you ever delete it, it'll spawn you a brand new one. Or if you want to add in another one, you can add in any other map as long as it says is called world unless you have a multi world plugin. Then you have, ah, right here, properties file. This is important. Uh, yeah, just double click that. It'll open up this. And the level name, this is just the name of the world. Allow nether, we all know what the nether is. View distance is how far you can view, obviously. Monsters, usually set that to true. Offline mode, online mode. This means, if you have it to false, this means people that have a cracked version of the game can play. If you have it to true, that means only the people that have bought in the game can play. So probably leave that to true. The difficulty, the normal is one. I think the highest is three. I think that's it. Don't quote me if I'm wrong. The game mode, zero is survival. One is creative. Animals, true. Max amount of players is how many people you can have on at once. Server IP, just leave that blank. PVP, player versus player. We all know what that is. The level seed. This is if you want to add in your own, like a seed you specifically want for your world. But if you do this, you then have to come back and delete the world file so it'll regenerate it. Then your server port. Yep. Uh, allow flight if you want people to fly. Your whitelist is on. And then your MOTD is what everybody will see when they join the server or once they have it on their server list in game. So, for example, just do subscribe. Actually, we'll even add a little smiley face to that. Smiles are awesome. Okay, now you just save that. 
just to show you guys it worked now you're just gonna run that again Ooh, lost my start there for a minute yep so it's did all what it needs to do go ahead and open up minecraft log in motion okay multiplayer look at that right there subscribe with the smiley face just like I'm saved it to go ahead and join in you're in your server look at that your 1.8 bucket server so yeah that's that now how to do plugins show you guys this real quick just go ahead and shoot over to bucket.org and go ahead and click on get plugins alright so what's a good one that I can show you guys essentials is a really good one that everybody should have Essentials is just a collage of plugins such as like set home and the time of the day and everything. So you'll just download that real quick. Once that's done, just drag it on your desktop, open that up, and here's your files for that. Oh, close that. Now you're going to go back into your bucket server, open the plugins, and just drag all of those in there. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Now run your server. Oh no, might want to stop my server first. Ooh, having a hard time typing today. Okay, now run it. Go ahead and open up Minecraft again. Not sure why I closed it. Motion! Okay. Yep, here it is again. Go ahead and log in. Ooh, had a little lag time on that that time. And as you can see, the server is running. It is all beautiful and great. And for that plugin you did, you now have 11 pages of commands. So, like, maybe I wanted to play at nighttime. Just type in time night. Look at that, it's nighttime. Well, nobody likes nighttime. You die. Time day. Perhaps you want to give your give yourself some items. Type in slash i the item you want. So like torch. It's just torch then how many ever you want so like 64 gives me 64 torches so yeah I hope this hope this tutorial has helped you guys hope you guys enjoyed it like it if you did subscribe if you want to see more I'll be having many more tutorials actually I'm gonna announce my bucket server tonight which I think is gonna be a different video so yeah swing by and check us out if you want to want to play with us pretty fun people me and all my goofy looking friends but yeah, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.